We have got a Chancellor demanding transitional arrangements, which a no-deal option makes impossible. We have got a Foreign Secretary making it up as he's going along. We have got a Brexit Secretary so used to overruling his colleagues that he started overruling himself. And we've got a Prime Minister who's so bereft of ideas that she started putting suggestion boxes around Parliament. <laughs> but as a country, as a country, we have got 20 months to go until Brexit. We absolutely have got to get a grip. And if the party opposite hasn't got the strength for the task, then we've absolutely got to get rid of them. I think, I think there may have been a question somewhere in that. Can I assure the Right Honourable Lady uh, of two things? First of all, that this Government is already in the negotiations. She will have seen that. We have started negotiations. They are going well. We said that the first thing we wanted to do was negotiate citizens' rights. That was the first item on the agenda of the first meeting. We want to make sure that uh, European citizens in this country and, equally importantly, British citizens living in other European countries have as much certainty about their rights as soon as possible. That is what we are negotiating. That is the sign of a practical, pragmatic government getting on with work in the interests of the British people.